Thank you for coming. Um, I will be playing today uh, uh, reflections on the Opus 19 of Arnold Schoenberg. Uh, the six short pieces, uh, piano pieces, Opus 19, were written by Schoenberg in 1911 and they present the composer at a time when he was freeing himself from the constraints of traditional tonality, but before the advent of his famous 12 tone technique. Unlike the three piano pieces of the Opus 11 written two years earlier, the composer issues many of the traditional expectations of late romantic piano music in the Opus 19, preferred to write in the compressed style and to restrain both dramatic gestures and virtuosic pianists. My personal reflections began with identifying what seemed to me the underlying genesis of each piece. The preparation of the electroacoustic pastiche represents my own musical thoughts on this music. The challenge I set for myself mm -hmm. was to use these pieces as a musical catalyst from which to build my own invention. I wanted to respect the creativity in the Opus 19, but not imitate it. My reflection on the first piece is perhaps the most obvious, for I use the opening for notes as an ostinato over which they project a variety of sound, inspired by the piece itself, and at the end I quote from the Schomburg score directly. In the second piece, I uh, retained the periodic rhythmical staccatos, but sustained uh, great waves of sound for the silences. In the third piece, I chose the focus uh, uh, on the antithesis of its pseudo-late romanticism. I took materials from the piece, quoting directly at one point, and applied them to mundane real-life sounds, rather than the fantasy world of the romantic, even adding sounds that may be amusing to the listener, and ending with a little real-world jazz. The fourth piece is the most humorous in its original version. I decided, uh, however, to transform in uh, character uh, completely, borrowing from the uh, technique Karl Heinz Stockhausen, applies to his Klavier Stücke 11, uh, wherein each segment of this piece is altered in all regards when it is repeated, tempo, dynamics, and concept. I added my own touch of humor, wherein the gentle rain of Debussy's garden in the rain turns into a full fledged storm, complete with a barking dog who was obviously want to be led inside. In the fifth piece, I built an ostinado out of uh, one of the chromatic phrases. It persists throughout the piece as the life force a determination to create despite the frivolity of the world that surrounds us. At time, uh, the vulgar uh, seems to overwhelm us, but at the end of the piece, uh, the purpose is still there. And I even identify it, at least in my own case, uh, the reason for my ex existence. You will recognize it when you hear the spoken word music. The final piece was a special challenge because I felt I could not improve upon Schorbeck's moving expressions of respect and grief over the death of his friend and mentor, Gustav Mahler. Then I imagined Mahler in another place, recharged with vitality and creativity as he was cosmically with the composers he loved. He, uh, here we hear Mahler conversing with Mozart, Chopin, and Rimsky-Korsakov in next world, now fulfilled and happy. After I finished my electroacoustic reflections, I found myself thinking about uh, another aspect of the Opus 19, remembering that indeed it stands at the halfway point in Schoenberg's own development that is somewhere between the traditional use of tonality and the structured use of the 12-tone technique. I felt that I, too, must reflect on this unique position in some way. I devised a symbolic combination. Thus, there will be a second performance consisting of the electroacoustic music you just heard, but along with live improvisations at the piano. In my own thinking, the electroacoustic uh, orchestration represents the frozen aspect of both traditional harmonic practice and of the later 12-tone technique, and the improvisation, the freedom of the atonal grazing we find in the Opus 19. It should be noted, however, that my piano improvisations contain a high degree of planning, as do most improvisations. This planning is both technical and conceptual, so I have suggested sources of inspiration in the titles noted in your program.